Morgan. I'm a senior at Lincoln North Star. Speak And this is called Spelling It Out. Once upon a time, my parents were incredibly broke and counting pennies for cigarettes because they were cheaper than nicotine patches. With three kids and me on the way, little did they know that their fourth child would be a miracle. When I was born, I was three pounds, 12 ounces. The doctors kept me in the hospital 10 days after I took my first breath. I was as fragile as an eggshell. I grew up in southwest Nebraska where the food was good and the fights never stopped. I was born to a couple whose love faded long before me. I became the notary stamp in their divorce papers. Having me meant they were forced to stay together. Together meant unhappiness. Together meant watching my dad storm out of the house, have a burnout in the driveway, and speed down the block. Our walls were white with fingerprints and no pictures because life was not worth showcasing. On the outside, I was a girl that talked so fast at school that neither my teachers or classmates could understand me. On the inside, I wished my heart might stop, that all would just slow down. My hidden depression was covered by a mask made from people asking, how are you? My response would always be, I'm fantastic at home. My parents didn't argue in front of me, but at night, all I heard was loud mumbling, followed by a thud on the wall from a book that was thrown. Their voices interrupted my seven-year-old thoughts about how hard my spelling test would be the next day, knowing that one of the words was stop, S-T-O-P. By the time I could spell broken, B-R-O-K-E-N. I was told that I came with a deal when I was born, and that was that my parents wouldn't get divorced until I was 19. Interesting enough, the 19 years meant 6,000 935 more days together when I could spell family F-A-M-I-L-Y I realized that mine was just a bunch of people who ate dinner, dinner together out of duty my mom would pick the lint off her clothes with disinterest for my dad as the divorce came with every passing day she cared less about how much food was in the cupboard and more about how quick she could drink her palms away to the point our electricity was shut off nearly every time a switch was flipped on. In what world does alcohol, friends, clothes, and a job come before your kids? When I looked at her, I second guessed whether mom was the right term. By the time I could spell promise, P-R-O-M-I-S-E, divorce papers were being thrown around. My dad fought for custody because he didn't want his kids exposed to a lifestyle of drug abuse, drinking, and loss. A loss of knowing where life was going, when dinner would be on the table, if dinner would be on the table, and when mom was going to come home and be mom. My dad knew what was best for me. He tells me that one, when one door closes, another door opens. To never give up. And people burn bridges, but life goes on. My life will go on. I will be the first kid in my family to ever go to college. And yeah, I have lost. I've lost my fear. I've lost my sadness. And I've lost my past in exchange for my present.